Jamie Osborne, Tom Stewart. Jamie, firstly, how's the first week in camp been? Uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been very enjoyable. Um, we've had three tough ta training days, um, but yeah, no, I've enjoyed it and looking forward to getting into match week. You've obviously been in this environment before, first year as a development player, and then last November with the A squad. So has that helped you kind of settle in and make that transition? Yeah, definitely. I think I I know. Um, I know the coaches a bit now from uh, the emerging tour. Obviously, I was in before as a development player, um, and it's just I know what they're looking for. I know uh, how we want to play, and I think that's made it much more easy coming in. Tom, firstly, congratulations on your call up to the Ireland squad. How have the last 24 hours been? Yeah, pretty surreal. Um, you know, it's obviously every every young rugby player's dream is to get a call up for Ireland and you know get one step closer to putting on the green jersey. So it was a uh, a bit frantic, there's a bit of excitement, a bit of nerves, a bit of everything, but uh, no, delighted to be here. You haven't been in the senior club before, but you at least have that experience of working with coaches quite closely during that Emerging Ireland tour back in back in October, so that must give you a helping hand coming in. Yeah, and it was definitely um, coming in, I at least have some sort of stuff that I, I remember from back in the Emerging tour, you know, it was a good foundation for the coaches to bring bring in the young players and to get them to know systems and stuff like that. So obviously I have a bit of work to still do, but I'm not coming in completely blind, which which is good. And knowing the coaches and stuff and the staff is it's quite nice too. It was a class tour. Um, we had a couple of tough games down in uh, in Bloemfontein, um, and like you look at Keane and Joe making their and Jack making their debuts. Uh, in autumn and um, I'd say the Emerging Tour played a big part in their development as well. You mentioned as well that working with coaches, so getting to work with the likes of Simon, John and Paul on that tour for an extended period, you getting to know them, them getting to know you is, have surely helped as well. Yeah, two two weeks of just um, like constant learning um, from those coaches uh, really helped uh, and we were able to kind of take that back to our provinces. Did you use that Emerging Ireland Tour then, the confidence you got, the learnings you took from it as a springboard then to start of the season with Ulster, have you gone away and your performances for them have been really good? Yeah, I think I was kind of just sponging up everything on the Emerging Tour, you know, taking all the fine bits of detail and Pauly, he's, he's a bit of a stickler for detail, so I was kind of just trying to take in whatever he was saying, the same with Simon and stuff with defensive work and I think it, it definitely helped, it definitely gave me a, a bit of a better knowledge of, of to how the game can be played and, and stuff like that, so I, hopefully I just use that to bounce on. And what about the Six Nations, what are your hopes and ambitions now? Do you kind of, you've settled in now, you're a week in, you've got a feel for what are your, what are your hopes for the next couple of weeks? Um, yeah, well I, hopefully, obviously the dream is to make the first cap, um, but I've kind of more just focused on play, playing well in training and um, doing the right things and um, hopefully if I get my chance or an opportunity I'll I'll definitely be desperate to take it. But just being around the, all the all the other players, like it's it's quite surreal being around all the players you look up to, like the likes of Pete and Johnny and stuff. I've looked up to and watched for years and it's it's a pretty pretty surreal experience being involved with them now. And what are your hopes and ambitions for the next couple of weeks? I know you're as you say still a bit surreal, the last twenty four hours have been a bit mental, you've just arrived, so what what's your immediate focus? I think again, just sponge everything up and try and enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy enjoy the scenery. We're obviously in Portugal here and it's nice enjoying a bit of sun, but I think just learn as much as I can and what comes from that will come from that and I, I'm just happy to be here.